Hello everyone, this is Greg Mursko from the RPAC Art Center. And I'm just letting everybody know that there is going to be another workshop available for InDesign and creating a trifold brochure. So I've already created this trifold so far. Um, when you're creating a trifold in InDesign, you know, keep in mind that I, like I always say, I think that InDesign really is the Motel 6 for Adobe software. It's where every other software like Photoshop and uh, Illustrator can come in and they stay there. So this, these are Photoshop files that I have in here. And this is actually a vector file, which is an Illustrator file. But they all come in and they sort of just live in... Um, just a, a software like Adobe uh, InDesign, just so it's easier for a printer to put them all together and create a really, really nice brochure. Now I've separated this trifold into three folds, as you can tell by my rules over here. That's one panel, two panel, three. And the weird thing with the trifold is since it is, just really one piece of paper, but it's printed on both sides. You have to indicate where uh, your cover is going to be, where your folds are going to be. Like, for example, this, believe it or not, way over on the right hand side would be where your cover goes. This would be your back page and your mailing information. And this page would be your inside flap as you're opening up your, uh, your brochure. Just picture it as something to where it's a trifold. You're just flipping from right to left, and then you're opening the flap left to right. Once that opens, you get to your second page, which is the other side of the piece of paper. And you have your inside three flaps, which you can basically create anything. I Sometimes I go right in the middle of the gutter where it folds. I don't mind covering some of that artwork. Some people don't like doing that, but I'm cool with it as long as it looks nice. Now, one thing that Adobe InDesign is famous for and what I love is, well, for a perfect example, Adobe Illustrator is great for vector graphics, anything created geometrically. So anything created like a logo or anything like that is fantastic to create in Illustrator. Uh, an image, like a photo here, that is a bitmap graphic, and that's usually created in Photoshop. The cool thing that those both those programs do is they do some pretty wild things, but they're not really good at taking everything, putting it all together, and creating blocks of copy so you can read blocks of copy about, for example, this trifold brochure. For this page, I'd want to say something about these art images and I would need more than a one or two word uh, block of copy. I need a whole bunch of paragraphs. So while I design, and I have, if I haven't written anything yet, what I like to do is I'll go over to, but this is a text box right here, just so you know. Let's see, because of the little icon in here. And I will literally go to type, and I'll go to fill with placeholder text, and watch what happens. Look at that. It's just dummy copy. Nothing's written. And I actually connected all of these boxes earlier. I'll show you how to do that right now. I'll delete this box, delete this box. Notice when I deleted those boxes, you see this little tiny red cross right here. That means whoever you're, whoever's designing this, there's body copy in here that has to be adjusted. So you just create another text box. And you go over to your select tool. You go right to where that little emergency box is. Click on it. Now if you look, you can see the actual text wanting to link to go somewhere. Now you just created that other text box. I'm just going to click in it. And bam. That type just shows up and flows. Now, Photoshop and InDesign can do this, but not as well as InDesign. It takes a while to create something in Photoshop and Illustrator that takes 
seconds in InDesign. That's why this program was created. And again, I still see a red box. So I'm going to go off the page. Just create a text box. This area right in here, anything you see gray, that is just an area to where you can put stuff. Nothing's going to print. So you can put all your junk there. Maybe if something you want to use later, it doesn't matter, but it will not print. Go back to my select tool, get my real red cross, click it again. Whoops. Click it again. There we go. And there you go. There's all your text. You come in zero, bring everything back. And of course, there's a lot of formatting things that you can do. You can highlight all that text. You can move this little indent where the paragraphs are. Move it in. It's your first line indent. It's not crazy if you wanted to. I like usually just to indent it just a little bit, just to show everybody that's where my paragraph is starting. And then I also like to show my hidden characters. Little paragraph returns, I'll blow up on that just so you can see it. Little dots are spaces. And that's your paragraph return. So that's your tease for now. Uh, again, if you're interested in making a trifold brochure, this is really the workshop you want to work with and see. And of course, I'll be available if you have any questions. So I hope you show up for the workshop and have a really good day.